At this time, we'll call this public hearing on the transmittal of the 2021 comprehensive plan update. Um, Mr. Mack, do you want to lead us a little bit? Sure, thank you and good evening, everyone. Um, as was mentioned, this is the public hearing. This is the second public hearing for the transmittal of the Lowndes County and the city's uh, comprehensive plan update. And um, this completes the uh, required public hearings for the process. Um, this is to both notify the public that the draft is ready and available to review. will be transmitted tomorrow morning to the Department of Community Affairs for their review. Um, after their time of review, they will submit any comments, recommended changes um, to SGRC, and then we will reach out to you if there's any kind of major edits that they're requesting. Um, at that point, once the uh, draft is final with their comments and recommended changes, if there are any, um, then uh, it would be up to the city and the county to adopt the plan, and that would complete your process, and then it'd be another five years before you're, you're due to the can. Um, let's see, uh, just to go over the components of the plan again, um, we have seven required elements, including the goals and vision, uh, community um, needs and opportunities, policies, uh, the community work plan for the county and each of the cities, transportation element, broadband, and an update of the land use element. Um, there is an opportunity tonight to hear from any public on comments on the plan draft, and uh, I should mention it will also be shared with neighboring jurisdictions and state agencies for, for their review during the time that the ECA is also reviewing the plan. And with that, I think we're ready to ask for public comment. I just want to thank you, all of you, for your assistance in this process, and especially um, for J.D. Filler and Matt Martin with the City of El Paso. Well, let, let me just take a moment first. Uh, certainly, I know that JD and, and Matt was heavily involved in it, but we wouldn't be here today without your leadership and the hard work that you put into this. I know it's been uh, it, it's been quite a task, a little lengthy, uh, and at some point in time, every once in a while, a little controversial. Uh, but that's good. It's good to have that and have some good positive discussions over what the issues are and we've been able to have that throughout this process so I just want to thank you uh, for your hard work and all of your effort and your knowledge to be able to do this to bring all of this together so again thank you very much for all you've done. All right we'll have the public hearing portion of the meeting is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak on this issue? Anyone that would like to speak? May, may want to speak? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come ahead. Be fine. Your name and address for the record, please. David Alts, 5767 Thompson Road, the Howard, Georgia, 31632. Um, I haven't been able to see the plane yet, so I don't know what's the change. So it's really difficult to speak to that. I would ask, um, I hope that it stayed the same, especially in our area to restrict the agriculture. I think that's the character of the area. I think there is uh, availability to grow, but still to keep within the character of the area. And that's what that map is there for. I would hope that when we do approve a new map, that we follow those guidelines. We follow those guidelines from the uh, commission when they go seven to two, vote well, no, and then we, as a board, vote well, yes. And I think that's what the Captain Mayor error map is there for. It's not there to benefit one or benefit the other, it's to benefit the all. Not pointing fingers, not upset about anything, but a lot of people are out there that live there for a reason. We, we welcome growth. We welcome growth within the confines of the comprehensive area map, what it's supposed to be. I hope it stayed somewhat the same, especially the areas that I'm talking about. And I think that's what we should look for in the future. Yes, there'll be growth, there'll be population growth. I get that. We'll need houses to facilitate some of that growth. But you also have to keep the character of where it's at. Uh, I specifically retired here in Valdosta and in the Lowndes County area because this is where I wanted to be. I came here for a reason. A lot of people went to where they're at right now for a reason. 
because that's where they want to be. That's what they want. Once you take it away from those people, then they have to move. So again, you say, we've got to take care of all people. Sure, but we can do it within the confines where everybody can benefit and both can compromise. It can't be one over the other. And it cannot, it cannot look from the outside looking in. There's conflicts that can cause a vote to change. It cannot be that way. That's not the way government works. That's not what the, the public deserves. And as public servants, as I, I was a public servant in the military, I understand that. It's a greater cause. It's not for me. It's for thee. It's everybody. I would, I would hope that we remember that next time. And I hope the character of Matt stays the same. And I do hope this process and the feelings that people have had and shown during this process, everybody can understand that. Understand where everybody's coming from. Not one person, not the other. All of us together. Uh, I hope it stays the same. Like I said, I've said it a hundred times already. I don't know. I haven't been able to see the map yet. I hope it has. If not, I'm sure I'll be right back here upset. Speak my piece. Saying what I'm supposed to. I'm not going to come just once. I'm going to come every time. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way government works. So I hope it works for us this time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else that would like to speak? Matt, do you have something that you'd like to add? I know you've got in your pocket a little bit late to the lift and kind of opened it up for us. Uh, just filling in the peanut gallery. Okay. JD? I've got stuff out of the email to you about, and then when I left your voicemail, I'll get out of here. So we can talk. Yeah, there's some um, future development map for a Um There's some map errors there. Matt, if you, you, you got something to present, if you would come up to the podium, please, so we can hear you.
changes to within AR. Some of those are reflected, some are not. City limits line, um, the spray field that the city got annexed is showing in GIS, but it's not showing on this map. And that was an annexation from last year. So that's a housekeeping thing to show the city limit line correctly on that map, just like it's in GIS. Um, but that's all it is. But yeah, definitely only within the city limits. Outside, that's your planner staff, y'all. But this would be the time for a hire to, if they predict the growth outside their city limits, this would be the, the, the place in time where they would not they outside the city limits, they would not. Right. It would, this that would be, be an opportunity for a discussion yeah. like that, but it is not the last opportunity. I mean, and this is a uh, living document, so we can amend it. Um, I would think if Hayhara gets into a discussion about long, long term road patterns, and then you look at character areas more snugly up to the city, then that's a two government discussion thinking long term. And I would want to focus on the big picture of that, not just one little area. Um, and I really think that would be a good opportunity five years from now when we do this all over again, when we have the census data under our belt get out of the pandemic, get back to normal growth, and therefore a little easier to predict. Um, I think five years would be a good mark for that. But in the meantime, it's really catching up to where the map left off in 2016. So we're getting us to today. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Just one more time, is there anyone else that would like to speak on this matter? Okay, hearing none, we'll close the hearing. And I, have, I don't think the recommended action would be for us to move ahead and with the transmittal letter. Mm -hmm. Say, so, could I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, in, in, in the clarity of that, that transmittal letter, letter um, is it pertaining to leaving it as it is from the 2016 uh, map? Yes. For the character areas. For the character areas. I just wanted for clarity. Yeah. There's minor, minor changes in the, that were um, that Martin and I discussed in the city of Valdosta that would show on the county map, um, but it's not changing. What the entire stakeholder meeting we have here is not changing um, the north northern part of the county of Valdosta in the area. It's not changing that from 2016. Well, I, I, I want to add this. Um, there's not there's not here the amount of people here that that we've had in the past as far as this discussion yes. on this issue. But I need everybody to understand um, there's been a lot of talk about it. But the comprehensive plan is a guide. It's a guide that we look at. It's a guide that the planning and zoning looks at, uh, including the character areas and all the other information policies and what have you that's in there. We still have a responsibility as a commission as a city council to look at land use and whether or not a piece of property, if what the best fit for that piece of property is in any area. Um, the comprehensive plan, again, is the guide. It doesn't say that you cannot do something. It does, to some degree, give you a whole lot more leverage and the right to do something. But even the commission at that point, if they don't like a development even where it's allowed you can still vote that down you still have the authority to not even to, you know to not approve something that does fit in a character here. that's what you're elected for so i just want everybody to understand that that really is what this is all about and you know the, the tool is really for as much as anything for staff to be able to give citizens guidance and recommendations when there's a request for what they want to use a piece of property for. And so that really is what we're dealing with here. So the commission, um, we've had some one-on-one -on -one discussions and, and 
you know, we decided that we would not change the character area maps inside or out in the unincorporated area of Lowndes County. I understand the need for they hire to do some. I don't know that if Valdosta has done any or not. I'm just not sure. But there again, there was always some little tweaks and some stuff like that. But we made a decision that we would move forward without adjusting those maps. Now, I think that it's very, very important for us to understand that as we move through the next five years, there may be a real need. And I like what Matt said. Uh, I think that that would give us an opportunity as elected officials throughout all of Lowndes County and the cities to have some good discussions about what their future land uses are, whether it's the city of Valdosta, Lake Park, Dasher, Hayhire, or Ringer. So that's, that's, that's my two cents worth on this. I think Mr. Marshall, that, hopefully that answers kind of your question. Um, but we saw some needs. We felt like that they was justified, uh, but we just made the decision at this time that we're not moving those lines. But that doesn't mean that development still may not come into those areas. That's a decision that you make as an elected official to look at that individual development. Does it fit and is it good for that area and good for the development and growth of landscape? That is our responsibility. Can I get a motion then to approve again the transfer? Do we have a motion? Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries. Okay. Is there any other business? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn.